Vegas. Uh, and it's, uh, it, Surprise is the name of a fictitious ship. It's, well, although the British did have some, uh, some ships of the line in the uh, Napoleonic era uh, that were called Surprise. But this one is based on a series of books by uh, Patrick O'Brien. Uh, he has a series, about 20, 21 books. Uh, that two of those books were made into a movie called Master and Commander, Far Side of the World, Russell, Russell Crowe movie, where he plays the captain of a ship in the uh, Napoleonic era, and he's got a sidekick who is kind of a Charles Darwin-ish type of person, a scientist and, and, a, and not an experienced sailor, but a good um, a character to, to kind of play off of... Uh, uh, Russell Crowe's character in the movie. So the, they were on a ship called the Surprise and um, this, but this ship was used in that movie but it wasn't built to be the Surprise. Originally it was built as a replica of the HMS Rose, His Majesty's ship, mm -hmm. right, the Rose. Uh, and uh, there's several books about American history during the, the Revolution that uh, mention the Rose. Uh, one of the books is 1775. It's, I think, uh, written by a guy by the name of Kevin Phillips. You see him on NPR every once in a while. But it's uh, his, uh, he approaches the revolution from the fact that, well, they call it 19, or 1776, the start of the revolution, but that really wasn't the start. It, it really, all of 75 was really when things were cooking, you know, when Concord and Lexington happened, and, and, and uh, by the way, the U.S., the HMS Rose was sent over to stop those darn Rhode Islanders from smuggling rum up from the West Indies and using the rum to trade with, for slaves in Africa. So um, the Rose was a ship, a real ship, and that's what this was built as a replica of. So this is a 46 year, 40, yeah, 46 year old ship. She launched in 1970 in Nova Scotia. She operated out of New, uh, Newport, Rhode Island for a number of years. You could uh, go aboard and learn to sail, you know, go on a three month trip down to the, the Gulf or something like that.